Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forex, pisami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpisami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome everybody to daily video from the uh, FBA. So uh, today we again will take a look at the euro currency. Uh, yesterday we have taken a look at the wonderful setup on the New Zealand dollar that already has started to work. So as you can see on the chart, this New Zealand dollar has broken through the neckline of our large hand shoulders pattern. On the euro currency, uh, it's also something interesting is going on here. So first of all, take a look at market final. It has hit our target that we have specified for the current week. This is 1618 extensions, 1 or 6 area. Based on this ABCD most recent uh, pattern. So initially, market has dropped on the Brexit voting right to the 100% extension. So by this drop, it has completed AB equals CD lag. After that, we have the 618 uh, logical bounds and then to start action right to the next one 618 extension that right now has been hit. So uh, still this target, um, this is the target of the current week and uh, so today's Friday so our stop for the week has been completed but in general this target is the intermediate target on the overall downward action. So next target that we expect to get is the 104. So if you remember our weekly research mostly where we're looking at this pattern this large action and uh, it will be its next destination it's one or four area so that is our expectation also guys if you remember what we have talked on the weekly research we have here the butterfly pattern it's left wing from this triangle it's left wing that will be right wing and even has the bit lower target. Since here, guys, this ABCD large pattern stands in relation to these lows because this target stands below it, it means that as soon as market will break through the one or five lows, some stops will be triggered probably, and that will add more fuel to the bearish action. And that's why the butterfly probably will be completed. So this will just provide the additional power to the bearish action, and market will drop further. I will not be surprised if market will drop directly to the uh, parity or something near it because it will be very close and you know that the parity is every, every time attracts the traders and in general it looks like the psychological target mostly. So uh, that anyway 1 or 4 will be the next technical destination point on the uh, euro currency. So uh, but today is market already has completed the targets 1618 and it stands right now also at the result very close to the result we will see what will happen actually as you can see market hasn't pleased us too much with the retracements so very very small retracements happens here it's no significant bounce no daily patterns has been formed but right now on the daily chart we also could watch for this first down because market this today session uh, brings eight bars to the downside so you can see first candle second third uh, fourth fifth second sixth seventh and eighth candle so eight candle to the downside that's enough for the trade up of the thrust and here we could watch for possible directional pattern so for example if market will form the bread and butter this will be very cool uh, of course the major question is whether it will be formed or not but because currently as you can see drops very strong no retracement is coming so but uh, still the background for the possible patient is completed we just need to watch whether the replacement will start or not if we will measure, measure the harmonic swing here this approximately should be uh, something of that sort right so you can see if market for example will show the same retracement as here then it will lead us right to the 3.8 resistance retesting of these lows that will be also the necessary point for the brain body because market should reach the strong important fib level, major fib level to create the brain body cell. Uh, but currently guys this market even hasn't started any retracement since it has just has reached 
this destination point with the today's sessions too much time uh, too, uh, too, uh, too few time uh, has passed since market has touched it it's some it's still unclear whether market really will form something here or not maybe it, it will drop even further it's also possible so uh, what we have on the intra day chart so on the far away time frame chart we have this gradual channel so as you can see no patterns that we have discussed have been completed no double repos have been formed no butterflies nothing so market just stands on this gradual action down so the first sign that retracement has started probably will be the breakout of this retracement so if mar of this channel so for example if market will show the breakup of this consolidation then probably it will tell us that market really could show some deeper retracement but in general guys as you can see from our researches, um, this market has dropped below the monthly period support one, below the weekly period support one. This mostly tells that market stands with a nice bearish trend. That's why um, the chances that this will be a really significant retracement are not really significant. So let's see whether we'll get it or not. But maybe in the next week, this market will take some relief and uh, maybe some bounce will happen. On the hourly chart, guys, today we could watch for possible reversal pattern here and, and as you can see it's most probable is the double repo buy because we have that thrust down on the hourly chart and some consolidation that potentially could lead to appearing of the double repo pattern um, appearing of the reversal pattern on the hourly chart looks reasonable why because market stands on the support market has completed the target market stands at the reversal so that's why on the intraday chart most probable reversal pattern if we will get it that in turn could lead to the breakout of this channel and that in turn could lead to some upper actions maybe market will hit uh, fib level so that's simple logic so major question is now whether market will form any reversal patterns here or not or it will just drop lower because guys actually it's 1618 extension target is very nice and cool but one problem with it is that we don't have any other supports. We don't have pivots. We don't have fib levels. Because this just till till this low, this free space, and it has started right as market has dropped below 108 area and has broken the last major 618 support. As we said, that probably should not count on the deep retracements. That really has happened because when the market has no supports and even it has touched some significant target, this is not really uh, very very strong. Uh, support for for the market target yes it's important it could trigger some bounce but this is much worse than combination of the target and some fib level ever sold and the pivots when they comes in the same era especially it's a confidence support but here guys that's why we're speaking a bit with the suspicious and with the doubts on the possible bounce yes target is here ever sold is here maybe some, something maybe will be formed here today but it's not the fact yet. That's our current view on the euro currency. So okay, let's keep watching. We do not call you to trade market on the long side if even you will get the double repo buy here because it's just dangerous, especially if you are trade on the daily. For the daily traders, the only setup exists is to wait when the rally, rally will, will happen and sell this rally. To, so it means that use rally for the selling, for taking the short, not trade it long. Uh, the long trade could be taken by only by the scalp trader. So if you trade on the hourly chart, on the 15-minute chart, you could try. But as you, you probably should understand that when you're taking a position against such short action, so we have no daily charts, so just miserable plunge down. This brings very significant risk. That's why our position is to ignore any bullish patterns on the intraday charts, ignore uh, potentially uh, reversal patterns here. With the ignoring, I mean just do not take the position based on it. And if they will work, just watch for possible rally and use it for taking the short. That's the major idea here. So today we will be watching whether we will get any reversal patterns or not.